Iman does his videos are everywhere and his editing style is something we can learn a lot from. In this one video, we are going to talk about how to do this one particular plain animation which is showed in one of his latest videos. And for that, we are going to use a software called Lumion. You can use Blender as well or you can use Cinema 4D as well. The only reason we are going to use Lumion over any other rendering engines out there is because this kind of 3D effects doesn't need a lot of realistic effects. Second, the rendering speed in Lumion for this kind of renderings is a lot, lot faster compared to any other engines like Blender or Cinema 4D, which takes a lot of time if you are doing it frame by frame. Lumion does it a lot faster. So with that being said, let's jump straight into the software and show you guys how this is done. But then again, if you are someone who is using Blender or Cinema 4D, the same concepts apply there as well. So once you're open in Lumion, you have to choose a plain background. You can choose any kind of a plain background. After that is done, you have to import your models. First, you can download any one of the plain models of the internet. Just download them and import them onto Lumion and you need a floor as well as some walls. You can do one thing, you can just import any one of a hollow box 3D from the internet and just drag it onto Lumion and that should pretty much do the trick. If you are accustomed with any other 3D software such as SketchUp or Blender, just simply make the floor, make the walls and just import it into Lumion, just like this. And once that is done, just simply choose the materials of the plane, of the floor, of the wall. And again, for the material, you guys can choose anything. I can choose painting as well, as long as it's just a grayish color. You can choose a metallic texture as well. But the shininess is something I don't personally like. I will just choose a normal painting texture and, you know, change the color to a bit more grayish. And increase this one panel right here because this gives a little bit more 3D bevelness to the entire video. And once that is done, set up the lighting. For us, we are using the ambient lights like this ones and just put it on the environment just like this. And after that is done, I'm going to go to the video settings. Just set the keyframes onto the video tab just like this. And then your animation is ready to be used. Some people choose 60 FPS as the expose settings because it gives a little bit more fluid movement and yes, I agree with that. Although for your talking headshots, 24 FPS is the best, but this kind of rendering looks a lot smoother if you're doing it in 60 FPS and I can vouch for that. So export it in 1080p 60 FPS or 4K 60 FPS if you have a very good computer and you are pretty much good to go. The final result looks something like this. You can play around with the environment as well if you want to. You can put some human beings, you can put some other objects such as cars, trees, buildings, skies for example, or any other animals. Just as usual, creativity is endless. Put as much things as you like as long as it follows the story of your video. So with that being said, if you guys want to download Lumion, I'll leave the download link down below as well. And if you guys want the project file of this one video, I'll leave the download link in the description below as well. With that being said, if you guys like this kind of videos, then do make sure to subscribe, comment down below. And I'm Pixel Sammy. We'll be back with a new video soon. Peace out.